So a new year comes and we start thinking about improvements, making ourselves better. We start thinking about the last year and how things went. You know, I did a previous video before talking about looking at what went well, what didn't work well and what needs to be improved. And so I want to start talking about what you can do moving forward in terms of making it an even better year. Now, I don't know if you guys know about an individual called Darren Hardy. He's written a very, very great book called The Compound Effect. I think it's called The Compound Effect 2.0. You should definitely check out the link in my bio. And essentially, Darren Hardy is, you know, CEO of Success Magazine, if you haven't heard of it already. And he's recently re released this book called The Entrepreneurial Roller Coaster. Now, Darren Hardy doesn't just focus on entrepreneurship. He focuses on personal development, success, and all things that makes a human being tick. And in this book, he puts in some very, very useful insights as per usual. But I want to talk about some four key things that he talks about in terms of making sure that you turn the needle. Now, essentially, he talks about four main things, vital functions, vital priorities, vital metrics, and vital improvements. Now, let me break down each one for you in more detail. I I'm not Darren Hardy. I can't do it like him, but this is how I've understood it. Now, vital priorities are the things, the most fundamental things that will enable you to do extremely well in whatever pursuit that you're trying to pursue. So this could be weight loss as an example. This could be trying to build a business. This could be making your relationship better. What are the vital priorities that enable that to happen? So let's say, for example, a vital priority for me is making YouTube videos because, again, that forms part of the funnel of my business, a big part of it. Another vital priority may be speaking, okay, keynote talks, because, again, that's where I can get brand awareness. This is where I can make sales. This is where I can create the most impact. This is where I can connect with different people. So what are the pillar things that enable you to actually make a mark on what it is that you're trying to do? Think about that for yourself. Maybe it's in your relationship, okay? What are the vital priorities? Maybe your partner is telling you something and it's not registering. Maybe, for example, they want you to be a bit more romantic. Maybe they want, you know, a date night as an example. Maybe they want you to look after your money better. What are the things that are going to be make or break for the thing that you're trying to do? So those are vital priorities. The second thing is vital functions. So these are the day-to-day -day tasks that really help and address and move towards making sure that you do the vital priority. So what do I mean? So these could be, let's say, for example, I'm thinking about a keynote talk that I'm doing. This could be thinking about the talk. This could be planning it out, putting together the slides on Canva or PowerPoint, practicing those slides, and then delivering those slides when the time comes. Those are vital functions, okay? Now, obviously, that may be a non-reoccurring thing. There are going to be reoccurring things that you may need to do that are systematic and vital to what you're trying to do. Again, this could be within the workspace. You need to think to yourself, what are the things that allow me to produce results in the vital priorities? Because it always comes back to that. Now, following on from that, you have vital metrics. Okay, so vital metrics are the things that get measured. It's understanding why you do something. Is understand the strategy, i.e. the holistic approach behind the reason for being. Okay, so why is it that I want to, you know, be a business owner? Well, I'm looking for a sense of freedom. I believe I can make a huge impact to people's lives. I believe I can help people acclimatize or actually get mastery in their lives and reach peak performance or high performance. Now, obviously, these are sort of very broad reasons. And if you go deeper using, let's say, for example, the five wise technique, you can get really to the core of what it is that you're trying to do. But then once you have those reasons, you need to have solid things that give you feedback. I always say if it's not measured, it doesn't exist. OK, e even things like feelings, they're quantitative by nature. You can still describe those things and get stuff out of it. So find ways to measure success. Measure success for those vital priorities that you're trying to achieve. Okay, really important stuff. And this is where accountability comes into play. This is where systems come into play. This is where you have a holistic sort of approach towards really achieving what it is that you're trying to achieve. And the final thing is vital improvements. How do you make improvements to what you're doing? So again, this is why the metrics are important. If you don't have anything to measure, 
then you're in a position where you can't really see what improvements are required. Okay, so we have to be lean and agile by nature. How do you improve? Well, you look at the data, you look at the metrics, and you think about the skills, specifically the skills, that are not getting you the metrics that you need. You may also look at things like space, look at things like helpers, look at things like cash or money, equipment, all these different things that can really contribute to the success of your vital priorities. So, you know, when it comes to improvements for me, the way I do this on a regular basis is making sure that I journal, okay? I'm trying to make sure that my mind is fresh. Now, I'm not always consistent every day. I'm trying to get to that stage, but I know when I do journal, it is really sort of expressive by nature. It's therapeutic by nature, and it enables me to understand clearly what it is that I'm trying to do. In addition to that, it is reading books, okay? I'm gonna do a video on reading, and reading has been phenomenal, not just any old books, but books that allow me to learn. Sometimes it may be reading things like periodicals and journals and articles like that, that have scientific backing, that really helps me become the person I'm trying to be. In other instances, it may be going onto a professional course or program that again, enables me to be effective. Now, if it's just me, and the, let's say we're just only focusing on entrepreneurship, if it's just me, maybe I need help. So this is where, you know, I may get a, a virtual assistant or may get support in other areas. If this is within your romantic life, as an example, this is where you may get feedback from your partner, okay? Whether that's in the bedroom or not, whether that is in terms of your contributions or not. If it comes to your health, well, you can easily track those metrics when it comes to, you know, fat muscle ratio or BMI, as an example, or, you know, when you're measure measuring your waist or your wrist or whatever it may be. Obviously, in combination, not one metric is powerful enough. Of course, there are going to be things that are rate limiting steps and that have more weight than the same instance, all of those metrics tell a story and you need to be able to tell a story. So just to recap, we have vital priorities, we have vital functions, we have vital metrics and we have vital improvements. I believe if you follow Darren Hardy's method in this, in this space, whether it's entrepreneurship or not, this year is going to look like a good year. This year is going to look like a fantastic year. It kind of doesn't matter whether it's, you know, the new year or not. This is something that you can utilize in your life moving forward. And it's about having that sense of clarity, having that deep sense of what your reason why is, and having those things in place to enable you to be an effective human being. Because again, it's about mastery, it's about high performance, it's about being the best person that you can possibly be. Now, if you're on this train of trying to get to that space, then make sure to click the link in my bio where I talk about this in a bit more detail, where I talk about my model for mastery and high performance to enable you to be an effective person, especially this year. If you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And as always, my friends, understand, reach and expand. Peace.